Hello, in this video I will walk you through for what I have figured out for myself to be the most convenient way to keep using an Astro modified camera for daytime photography and videography. So in case you are not sure what we are talking about here, the Astro modification of a camera entails a physical removal of one or more filters that are attached to the camera sensor and then with those filters gone you can collect more light from the night sky, especially the most important type of modification is the removal of the IR cut filter which lets in a lot more red uh, colors of the spectrum and that way you can collect more data from the emission nebula of the night sky and this is the kind of modification that I have done to my camera there are other types but we are going to focus on the removal of the IR cut filter so if you do that your camera will be suddenly more sensitive to the red parts of the spectrum and that way your camera will be collecting more light in those parts of the spectrum and the images will turn out to have a slightly reddish and pinkish cast and normally if you are using an auto white balance or pretty much any of the white balance settings on your camera like daytime cloudy tungsten or whatever and all of those settings the images will turn out to be a lot more red than you would want them to but luckily there is a relatively easy fix and in order to do that you just have to use the custom white balance option in your camera and in the custom white balance option you need to take a photo of a white sheet of paper or preferably a gray card something that is neutral gray and then tell your camera to calibrate its white balance in order to make this in the shot to be neutral gray but it's not very convenient because if you are walking around if you're using your camera for like travel photography maybe some portraits in different situations indoors outdoors when it's cloudy when it's sunny having to take a photo of a great card is not very convenient every time you start to take photos on a given day so i have figured out a better way to do that and that entails basically preparing your camera for all of those conditions that you might end up with and you know in your camera the white balance options you have auto white balance which i personally never use because i like to have the control over the white balance and then you have some presets like i mentioned and the three presets the only three presets that i was ever using in like few years of me using cameras was daylight which I use for this shot here in the studio I have a daylight um, LED panel right here and also if I'm traveling most of the time it is pretty sunny if it's cloudy the second white balance settings that I would use was the cloudy white balance settings and the third one is tungsten and that one I would use if I'm like shooting indoors maybe some family events so those are the three settings and what I figured out to do in my camera in order to be prepared for that is basically sort of fabricate three those three white balance settings taking into consideration the fact that my, my camera is collecting more light in the red spectrum and here is how to do that all right so in order to prepare our white balance options we are going to need to have three items the first item of course is the camera that we are going to be doing this operation with the second item that i have right here is a color checker from x uh, you could arguably use maybe a white sheet of paper also but those sheets of papers are kind of maybe semi-transparent and maybe the whiteness is not really calibrated when it comes to sheets of paper. So I would definitely recommend for maximum accuracy something like a color checker from x -Rite. I would link down below in the description of this video to all of these items. So on a color checker passport right here you have a gray card and we are going to be using that in order to take our reference shots with my camera. To create those shots to be used with the custom white balance option later on and then the third item that I have right here is an aperture f7 LED bicolor video light and in this light I can control the intensity of the light and also the temperature of the light and this is going to be crucial when it comes to preparing those images for a custom white balance so what we are going to do is we are going to create those three presets daylight tungsten and cloudy so we are going to start with tungsten so i'm going to just move this wheel in order to go to the 3200 kelvin temperature as you can see 3200 and then i'm going to just position this light and then with my camera all you have to do is just you can pick um, daylight white balance for instance whatever as you can see the image is kind of pinkish and that's because my camera is astro modified so it's not 
100% uh, gray and this is what we are going to be fixing here. Also I have uh, different sources of light right here in my studio. Typically if, when I was doing that I would kill every like the, my key light and everything and just keep this LED light in order to have a consistent temperature of light hitting this gray card. And then you can put your camera to manual focus because this doesn't have to be even in focus but what matters is that the entire gray card is filling your frame. So you can also enable a crop mode in the camera depending on what kind of lens do you use and then just position your camera above it and then just take a shot. Make sure that the histogram is somewhere in the middle so it's not either overexposed so, or underexposed and then just take a photo. All that matters is that it is a raw photo, nothing else matters. It doesn't matter what kind of white balance setting do you have right here. It just has to be a raw image. So this is going to be the first one. And then the second one is going to be, this, so this is this will serve us as a basis for the tungsten custom white balance. And then I'm going to scroll this to 5200 Kelvin. This is going to be our daylight. And then again, take a photo. I'm gonna do it now, I already done it. Just take a photo right here. As you can see, it is less orange on the preview here. And then for the third one, I'm just going to scroll it to 7200. So this is going to be my cloudy white balance. And then again, take another shot. Once we have taken all of our photographs, you just need to go to the menu and on a Canon camera, you're going to look for something called custom white balance. You're going to click on that. So this is the first image that I have taken way, way back when I was doing it for myself. This is a second one and this is the third one. As, as you can see, this first one is the most orange. So this one is tungsten. The second one is daylight and the third one is cloudy. And then if I want to set my camera for the custom white balance to any of these three settings, I just have to, for instance, let's pick daylight. I'm just going to click on the middle one and then set use white balance data from this image for custom white balance yes okay okay and then you are all set and all you have to do is just change your white balance to be uh hang on to be this funny icon with a square and two triangles okay and then you are all set and by keeping those three images on your SD card, you can always, wherever you are in the field, go back to that and pick one of those three white balance settings that you have prepared for the further use. So as you can see, by having these three shots on your SD card at all times at the beginning of the, the sequence, if you are scrolling through the images, makes it very convenient to just quickly go to the custom white balance setting in your camera and set it to whatever of those three settings you might want to use. And of course, if you feel like you need more control over that, you can generate yourself more white balance settings. You can you can have something in between tungsten and daylight, for instance, but those three are definitely enough for my use. And this shot, for instance, is being shot using an Astro modified camera. And I have the custom white balance set to daylight to match my scene right here. And as you can see, it looks perfectly normal. So the conclusion is that you, of course, can keep using your Astro modified camera for daytime photography and videography no questions asked and as a bonus sort of you are actually going to be collecting more light in general because of the removal of the filter you are going to get more light so in the same scene for instance right here I have total control over the lighting and I needed to bump down my ISO about one third or maybe two thirds of a stop in order to end up with the same brightness as I was usually shooting so your camera will be more efficient in low light even if you're not doing astrophotography or any given day so definitely astro modified your camera is something worth doing if you're serious about astrophotography it opens up a whole new world of possibilities both for wide field milky way photography and also deep sky astrophotography of course so you can definitely i can definitely recommend that it is worth doing and you can keep using your camera for other types of photography and videography that's basically all i have for you for today if you enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up down below i would really appreciate it and also consider subscribing to my channel right here because i will be posting a lot more similar videos in the future and right now in the meantime you can watch these two videos i think you would enjoy them and hopefully see you next time bye bye